Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Today I am going to tell you the story of Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam. Are you ready? Yes. Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam plays a very important role in Islam. He fulfilled all the commandments and trials God gave him during his life. As a result of his unwavering faith, he was promised by God to be a leader of all the nations in the world. Now, let's start his story. Bismillah. Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam was born in the kingdom of Babylon a long, long time ago. He was blessed with wisdom even when he was a child. And this made him very, very special. The Prophet was born during a time when the people worshipped the sun, the moon, the stars, and they worshipped even the idols made out of stone. Ibrahim's father was a sculptor and he used to make the idols with his own hands. His father never used to worship Allah at all. As a child, he used to sit and watch his father carving out these statues from stone. Ibrahim got curious about these funny looking statues and sometimes he used to play with them. But when he saw the same statue in temples, he got confused. He wondered why the people were prostrating before the stone idols. So he decided to ask his father about it. One day when his father was carving a statue of Marduk, the prophet asked his father, Baba, why are people worshipping these toys that you are making yourself? They represent our gods, his father replied. We should worship them to get favors from gods. Why does it have such big ears, Baba? The prophet asked. This statue is the god of gods, the Marduk. He replied, the big ears represent his deep knowledge. Even though Ibrahim was only seven years old at that time, he couldn't control his laughter. As time went by, Ibrahim grew with knowledge and wisdom. He knew that Allah was the only true God. His hatred for the idols increased as he grew older. Ibrahim had now turned 16 years old. Whenever he went to the temple along with his father, he was sad to see his people still praying to the idols. He saw that the people were offering sacrifices, seeking forgiveness of their sins. One day, Ibrahim left his home in search of Allah, the true God. He walked for a very long time and finally he reached a mountain nearby. He climbed the mountain and sat near a cave nearby. He sat there for a very long time and when he looked up, he saw a shining star. When he saw the beauty of the star, he wondered if this star could be Allah. But after a while, the star disappeared. He realized that the star was not Allah, as the true God will never set or disappear. After a while, the moon came up. The moon was very, very beautiful. So Ibrahim wondered if the moon could be Allah. He sat there gazing at the moon for a long time. But after a few hours, when the moon disappeared from the horizon, he realized that the moon was not Allah. Ibrahim was disappointed, but he continued to sit there on the top of the mountain watching the horizon. It was early morning by now, and that was when the sun came up. He looked at the bright sun and wondered again if this could be Allah as it was bigger and very bright. But by evening when the sun set in the horizon, he realized that it was not Allah as the true God would never sit. It was then Ibrahim realized that the true God can never be created. He understood that Allah is the creator of everything, even the sun, the moon and the stars. He then prostrated on the ground offering his thanks. He knew that Allah had just guided him to the truth. It was then he realized that Allah had chosen him to be a prophet. 
God had chosen him to guide his people. It was going to be a new life for Prophet Ibrahim السلام. He then traveled back home to tell his father about the great news. But when his father heard what he was saying, he got very, very angry. How dare you reject my gods? He asked angrily. Oh, my father, follow me. I will guide you on the right path. Allah will punish you if you don't repent. The prophet pleaded with his father. I will ask people to stone you if you don't stop speaking like this. His father shouted at him. The Prophet was then asked to leave the house by his father. Ibrahim was sad for his father, for he had turned him away. He realized he could do nothing more. So he left home and walked away. He then went to the other people in his kingdom to guide them. He realized that it was his mission to call people back to Allah. Ibrahim went to the market and shouted to them, Allah is the one and only true God. There is no other God but Allah. There is nobody worthy of worship except Him. I will not bow down to the idols anymore. The people at the market got really angry when they heard him speak like this. Why do you worship these idols? He asked them. Don't you realize they have no power? The people threatened him to go away, so Ibrahim had to leave the market. But the Prophet thought of a plan to show them that the idols were not real gods. One day there was a big celebration near the river bank, and the Prophet knew that everyone in the city would be present there. The Prophet waited till he was sure that there was nobody left in the town. He then took an axe and went inside the temple. There were many idols kept inside the temple. And the Prophet started smashing the idols with his axe. One by one he smashed all the idols, except for one. That was the biggest idol inside the temple. He hung the axe around the neck of the statue and left the temple. The next day, when the people of the town came to the temple to worship, they were shocked to see the idol smashed into pieces. The pieces were lying around all over the place. They gathered together and discussed who could have done this terrible act. There was a young man at the market yesterday. One of them said, He was speaking against our gods. I know this person. His name was Ibrahim, said the other. The people found Prophet Ibrahim and brought him to the temple. Are you the one who has done these to our gods? They asked him. It was the statue here. Yes, that big one. The Prophet replied, Why don't you ask him? He will tell you if he can speak. This angered the people further. You know very well that these idols do not speak. Then Prophet Ibrahim said, Then why do you worship these idols who cannot speak, nor do they see or hear? Have you lost your minds? The people were ashamed and looked around, and they saw the shattered pieces of idols lying everywhere. Some of them realized that Ibrahim was saying the truth, but the others were still very angry with him. Punish him, they shouted. They wanted to take revenge for shattering the idols. They tied him in chains and gathered around to discuss how they were going to punish the prophet. Let's burn him in fire, one of them said. Let's build the biggest fire anyone has ever seen and throw him into it. Everyone thought it was a great idea. The people of Babylon then started building a fire so large that even the birds could not fly above it. It was so hot that the people couldn't go near it. MashaAllah, 
That was such a great story. <laughs> That's all for today. I'll tell the rest of the story tomorrow. Okay, Baba. Shall I ask you a few questions from the story? Yes. Where was Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam born? Babylon. He was born in Babylon. Masha Allah, that's the right answer. Now tell me, what did the Prophet's father do? I'll give you some options. Option A. Carpenter. Option B. Sculpture. Option C. Woodcutter. This one was so easy. It was option B. He was a sculpture. Hmm, right again. Now for the next question. Tell me why was the Prophet asked to leave from the house? The Prophet refused to worship the idols and this made his father very angry. That's why his father asked him to leave the house. Isn't that right, Baba? That's correct, my son. Why were the people of Babylon angry at the Prophet? The Prophet wanted to teach the people of Babylon a lesson. So he smashed all the idols they worshipped. MashaAllah, that's the right answer. That's all for today. I'll tell you the remaining story tomorrow. Good night. Good night.